So pinky moves, which means hammer-ons and pull-offs that you guys see all the time in R&B and Neo Soul videos. We're gonna explain them. We're gonna see how to practice them. Before we get to the super difficult, you know, pinky moves that you find on minus seven chords, we're gonna warm up with a couple of other easier pinky moves. And we're gonna start from a major seven chord. I've shown this in one of my recent videos. There's a full chord progression that you guys can check out on YouTube. But essentially, it's a hammer-on that you play on a shell voicing of a major seven. This, for example, is a B flat major seven, okay? And it's on the D string that you guys hammer on your pinky, okay? Between the sixth and the major seven. And all you have to do is like, kind of like rake these three strings and control that hammer on with your pinky here. And then you can apply that to any shell voicing of a major seven chord. So if you do it with the root on the A string, like an F major seven, it goes like this. Okay, all of these hammer-ons, pull-offs and exercises, guys, by the way, are tabbed out on my Patreon page. You can find a PDF, but also a guitar profile. So check it out at the link in the description below. Then you move to a different chord shape and chord type, which is going to be diminished seven chords, because you guys know that we play diminished seven chords all the time in R&B and Neo Soul. So if you go, for example, to C sharp and you play a C sharp diminished seventh, which is this chord here, what you can do is hammer on your pinky on the second string, okay? And in order to do so, you may have to adjust a little the fingering of your diminished seventh, because instead of playing it this way with your first finger playing a single note, you will have to bar it down so that you also reach the second string. And what you do is this, or page really, where you hammer on your pinky, and you have to hear that hammer sound on the second string, okay. Uh, you can also strum it if you like, okay. But I like to play this hammer on. You want to control the timing. You don't want to do this. Because this is just gonna kill the sound. You want to make sure that pinky reaches the string, reaches the fret at the end of the fret with this curb, okay? You don't want to go flat. You want to have a curb possibly towards the inside of the guitar, of the fret, but really, I should say. And you should feel the string in the middle of your fingertip, always. Not too close to your nail, not too low, okay? In the middle. So we've done this. Then we do this. And guess what? It's a diminished seven chord, so that means you can move it. Maybe this is not the easiest to do, but you can do it everywhere else, okay? Then we get to the minus seventh, minor ninth type of move, which means, I don't know, you get an A minus seven, like this, obviously you're gonna have the ninth here. What you do, you play rootless, so you bar the first four strings and you add your pinky to the ninth, on the first string, and you do it, instead of just doing this, which is cool, yeah, but it's nothing special, you want to do a hammer on, this way. This eventually will get into the other hammer ons that we'll do, but yeah, just start with this. You can do it on anything else, D minus seven, same. You pick the key, you change it every time, it's just important that you get that clean, hammer sound with your pinky, okay? And then we finally, finally get the real difficult pinky moves, but these are the fun ones that you want to have ready under your fingers, okay? So let's say that we play an E minus seven, like this, okay? Just a bucket that you've seen many times. Now what you can do, because your pinky is not doing anything in the E minus seven, it's free to move, okay? You can, Hammer on and pull off that flat seven on the first string. If you're playing an E minus seven, that's the fret number 10. Okay, again, it's everything tapped out on my Patreon page. Then you can do that on the 11th, okay, which you will find it's still on fret 10, but this time on the B string, okay. And then you can do it once more, if you like, on the G string, which is a hammer on between fret seven and nine to go from the flat seven to the root, okay. So the single notes, if we remove the chord and we only look at the single notes, are going to be this. Then this. And then this. You do it always with the pinky because your other fingers are down playing the chord, okay? And you will get... Okay, you 
just want to make sure you get that kind of sound. Okay, you can train even without the right hand first, if you like. Now start with one string only, the first one, and you go, take a break, do it again. Okay, you want to control both the hammer part and the pull off. So you first have this sound and then this sound of the pull off. So hammer on and then pull off. Okay, you want to really pull the finger off. Then you only do the second string. And again, a few times, then first and second. And again, first and second. Then you can try the third. That's what you want to hear. Then you can try first, second and third. Slow first. Then a little faster. Why are we practicing them on the acoustic guitar? Because they're going to be harder. On the electric guitar, a little bit easier. Okay, so once you master them here, you will fly on the electric guitar. Now, you can practice them with a strum, and then obviously pick the second, pick the third, or you can do a sort of arpeggio. Or you can do hybrid picking, which is something that I love to do, so that you use the pick, but it's really your fingers on the right hand that will get the second and the third. And even the first, now that I think about it. Kind of like this, this is my favorite way of playing it. So you really use the pick only for the root note of the chord, okay. So yeah, we saw these hammer-ons on major seven chords first, then diminished seven chords, and then we practice the uh, minor nine move, wherever you like, and then finally these. Which obviously you can move around and practice on other minor seven chords. So these are gonna be really important exercises that I would suggest to practice every day.